Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Nasher Computer Services. What I got for you here today is a CD-ROM that has a damage on it. There it is. You can clearly see on this beautiful camera the close-up of the damage. All right, so I got two CD-ROMs, and interestingly, these are backups. Interestingly, they both have damage in the same spot. Here is this one. Slightly different damage, but same spot. Uh, out of not having time, I needed the information off of the CD-ROMs. There are two identical CD-ROMs with two identical information and two nearly identical damages. Uh, so I couldn't get a file off. And uh, because I really had no time for this, um, it's like when you need to go somewhere really, really fast and the kid gives you a hard time. Uh, so out of this desperation, I actually solved the problem. I'm sure a lot of people had an issue where their CD-ROM got damaged. Basically, this side of the CD-ROM is uh, more vulnerable to damage than this side. People don't realize that, and that's why it says you cannot use... This one doesn't, but most say that you cannot use a ballpoint pen to write information because you will damage your CD-ROM. So you burned your uh, information on there, you took your pen, and you wrote without thinking. Uh, it usually doesn't work on here, but if it did, and then you filed it, then when you need to get the information back off, it doesn't read, and you go like, oh my god, why doesn't it work? Well, it doesn't work because you damaged it using the ballpoint pen. Um, the CD-ROMs had this problem for a really not long time. Most people did not realize that that was an issue. Best way to protect the CD-ROM is to actually get a label that is a circular label. Uh, that way you will have another layer of something uh, to protecting the coding um, on which the actual information is written. Problem with those labels is they over time peel off, so there is really no good way of uh, protecting a CD-ROM. If you know that this site is vulnerable, you need to get a really good case for it. What also happens is that uh, over time this uh, gets delaminated. Just like on the Macs, their screens uh, turn into weird colors. This just peels off by itself. At any rate, what I was going to say is I didn't have time to deal with this. I needed the information off of it. So I came up with a solution. And it was a uh, quick and dirty, but it did work. Um, I don't know how it worked. You can see here that I have put a piece of clear tape over the damaged area. Um, it doesn't fix the CD-ROM. Um, the CD-ROM still has an issue. But I was able to recover my file because of the tape that I put on here. Somehow it brought the coating close enough for the CD-ROM to read it, for I should say computer CD-ROM, CD-ROM drive. Uh, also what you want to use is uh, um, I have two drives in my computer. One is just uh, for CD reading, and the other one is CD, DVD, you know, the, the uh, combined one. That one was the one that was able to read it. The laser on that one is a lot finer, and uh, uh, it is also a desktop big unit. Uh, my laptop could not read the CD-ROM even when I put the tape on it but the uh, desktop was able to read it. So if you have an information uh, locked up on a CD-ROM that you haven't thrown away yet, 
might want to try putting the tape on now I don't guarantee it's gonna work for you it did work for me I was able to get my stuff off and uh, I you know this was like I said just with a kid I don't want to go I don't want to go I'm like I don't have time for this you are getting me the information that's it <laughs> well hopefully this helps somebody save some data save some lives save some um, money Give me a like if you like the video, subscribe and enjoy. Thank you.